How's it going on guys and welcome back to ABTFM YouTube channel. Today we're back with another episode of the Nottingham Forest Journey. Well, before we start the video, I'm just going to say this is sort of like an um, update video. So there'll be no gameplay in this episode. Um, well, anyways, in the last episode, we played one game against Swansea, and then we won 2-1, and then we clinched the Skybet Championship title with two games remaining. And um, yeah, I just played the two games away from the camera because obviously the result doesn't really matter. And then the first game, we actually lost against Barnsley. Connor Chaplin scored in the 90th minute, and then we just lost 1-0. And then the last game of the season is against Stoke City. And then Ben Watson scored the opener, and then Adama Dakabi did the double, and then we won the game 3-2. And then as you can see right now, we are actually at the 8th of August in 2020. So, the new season is coming up, and Manchester United will be our first game in the Premier League. And then, um, as you can see here, we actually had a very, very good pre-season. We won all the friendly matches. And um, well, obviously all the teams are weaker team, but I'm still very happy with the result. Um, Olympiacos, this is a slightly tougher opponent, I'll say. But then Nanu da Costa still managed to score a hat trick, and Thiago Silva managed to get himself in the score sheet. So um, yeah, I just sort of went through all the friend friendlies, um, all the preseason stuff, and also I signed some player, and I also sold some player. And um, in fact, right now, I'm just going to bring you into the transfer history. Well, um, as you can see here, we actually um, bring in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 players. And then we actually sold quite a lot of players. And um, yeah, I'm just going to introduce all the new signing first. And then we'll just have a look at the players that um, went out from our team. So the first player is actually Adama Diakabi. Um... I decided to sign him back to our team because um, he was incredible last season. And then look at the history. In the last season, he played, um, he started for 14 times and then um, sub on 18 times. And then he actually scored 11 goals, three assists, four player of the match. And um, actually, I also think that he was at Huddersfield. So he sort of like have the um, experience in the Premier League, although he's only made um, 12 appearances right here, but, and scored zero goal as well. But then I think um, he could be a very, very good addition to the team. While looking at his um, positions, he can play at the right wing as well as the left wing. So he could sort of like be the backup of Ricardo Kishna as well as Joe Lowley. And then the second player that will bring in is um, Rian Brewster. And we actually bring him in on loan. And um, yeah, because in the last season, in the striker department, Nanu Da Costa basically carried the whole team from the first day of the season until the last day of the season. There was no rotation. Luis Graban did not play, um, did not hit the expectation, I would say. And then um, sometimes Adama Diakabi would be playing at the striker position. So I was thinking, yeah, why not we'll just bring in a young player that can be the backup of Nando Da Costa. And actually looking at Rian Brewster's stats, attributes, he wasn't that bad. 18 determination is very, very good for a youngster. 15 off the ball, 14 finishing, 13 dribbling, 14 technique, 14 work rate, and then his physical is very, very good, um, except for jumping reach. And then the third player that I signed is Abdullah Torre. And um, yeah, he will be coming in as the halfback. Well, I tried to um, renew our contract with Alpha Samedu, and actually Benfica has already agreed with the fee, um, but Alpha Samedu personally rejected us. So, um, yeah, that's a very, very big hit for us, I'll say. So that's why I just went into the transfer market and looked for another halfback. And then, um, pretty lucky that we found Abdullah Torre, and then we actually signed him for 6.25 million. And I think it's very, very cheap. And then in the last season, he was okay. He scored two goals as the defensive midfielder and made four assists. 
And um, yeah, I am very excited to see what he can bring into our team. And then he is undoubtedly our first choice halfback. And then the fourth signing that we made is John Lundstrom. So um, while I personally love this player in real life, I think he's very, very hardworking. And then, um, well, in I believe in the start of um, the Premier League, of the uh, start of the season, he's just scoring goals and goals for Sheffield United. And then um, in this game, he's actually released by Sheffield United. He only made two appearances for um, Sheffield United. And then he has been released. So I just thought of like, okay, why not? We'll just um, pick it up for a free transfer. And his wage, his wages is only um, 30 million pounds per week. So um, I think that's a pretty okay price, I would say. And then um, his mental is exceptional. His technical might not be the best, but he's a well-suited box-to-box midfielder for us. And then the fifth one is um, Valentin Rosaya. So um, as everyone knows, Ivan left us, joined Cardiff City, still playing at the um, championship though. Yeah, <laughs> so um, I went on and then I signed Valentin Rosaya. Look at his um, attributes. Technically, te technically, sorry, technically, good, good crossing, good dribbling, good passing, good marking, good tackling, and good technique for a right back. And he can be playing as the left back if needed. Versatile player is, I love versatile player. So um, looking at his off the ball and positioning is also exceptional. 14 acceleration, 13 agility, and 14 stamina, 14 pace, 13 strength. I think he's just a very, very, very good fullback for us. So I just picked him up for 7.5 million, very cheap. And then, um, yeah, looking forward to see what he can bring into our team. And then the left back, the backup left back that I bring in is um, Luke Garbutt. Um, well, in real life, he has been forgotten by um, Carlo Ancelotti, but I still remember him. So, um, yeah, 14 crossing, um, 14 penalty taking. That's actually um, a good addition for us. And um, his mental, his off the ball and positioning is not the best. However, I think he can be a very, very good backup for um, Rui Ribeiro. So I just signed him up and then look at his wages. It's only 6k per week. Very, very cheap. And then the last player that I bring in is um, Max Kilman. Um, the Wolves, the previous Wolves defender who can play as a central midfielder as well as the left back. And um, look at his role and duty. He is actually a very, very good ball playing defender according to the game. And then, but look at his um, attributes. 13 tackling, not the best. But then, 13 passing and 14 technique for a centre back is very, very good. And um, his positioning is only 12 right now. But then his acceleration, agility, pace, strength, stamina, I think it's very, very good. So, um, yeah, I sort of just like sign him and then we can rotate him with um, Joe Worrell, Tobias Figueredo. Obviously, we have sold uh, Michael Hathaway, Hathaway or Halafay, Hathaway, I believe. Um, we have sold him to Cardiff City in the last season. So, I think Max Kilmer would be a very good addition into our team. So, the first player that we sold is, um, I'm just going to highlight those um, important player, the first team player. So, the first player that we sold is Gaten Bong. While I personally don't think Gaten Bong is good enough um, for us, but then um, the board suggests a different opinion, I would say. They say like Gaten Bong is our best left back instead of Rui Ribeiro, but then um, I personally just don't really like him. So I just sold him to um, Real Salt Lake for um, yeah 1.5 million. And then also Samba Sao, the 31 years old um, defensive midfielder. Well, I personally just don't see or use him or play him in our team. So that's why I just sort of like sold him to um, another club. Um, he's now in um, FC Cobenhaf. Coben, Cobenhaf, did I pronounce it right? Yeah, is the um yeah I believe it's Denmark um yeah is the Denmark team, so yeah I just sold him for um two million, and then um yeah I'm pretty happy with the transfer, and then the last one is actually Chris Smith. 
Um, remember this youngster, we said we are going to transform him into a right wing position. So, um, Bournemouth and Wolves, they are constantly beating, beating for him. And then, um, at first, they just offered like £2 million. And then I'm like, nah, this player is very important for us. But then, I just sort of like, oh, I, I'll just go to his transfer status and then put the asking price as um, £10 million. Then, Wolves and Bournemouth, they came in with an offer of £13.5 million. Pounds. Then I'm like, yeah, actually, why not? Because if you say he is a winger, we actually have Joe Lowley. Um, we have Adama Diakabe. So Adama Diakabe is still young and Joe Lowley is not that old yet. So, um, and if you say striker, yeah, maybe we only have Nando da Costa, but um, I'll show you guys later. In the squad itself, we still have a few um, talented striker, I would say. So I just think, okay, why not? We can earn 13 million pounds from him. So let's just sell him to Wolves. And then... Some of the um, sad news is actually, um, where is it, release player? Yep, Michael Dawson, um, our team leader in the dressing room, has just retired. And then I decided to hire him back as an under-18 coach. And then, another player is Ben Watson. While Ben Watson, um, he's already 35 years old, so I just released him. And now he's actually playing for Rio... F in Portugal. Yeah, all, all right, that's that's fine. Well, good luck, good luck to him. And then, um, yeah, we also released um Sammy Amiobi. Obviously, he, he he was just quite bad last season, I would say. And then, um, yeah, some of the name, I guess, um, Toby Etzer. Yeah, we just released him because I don't think he's good enough to play for us. And then now I'm actually going to show you guys the tactics. Well, in terms of the um, tactics, I think this will be the um, starting eleven for us this season. Oh, oh, sorry, actually, Valentin Rosario will be playing as right back. Yeah, so this will mostly be the starting eleven for us this season. Um, we have Bryce Samba in the goalkeeping area, and then we have Joe Worrell as well as Max Kilman as the new central defender partnership. Um, yeah, I am actually very keen to play a ball-playing defender. And looking at Tobias Figueredo, um, well, he, ha he only has 11 passing and 10 techniques. So he's not a very good ball-playing defender, I would say. But Max Kilman is a very, very well-suited ball-playing defender. So I'm actually trying to play a ball-playing defender on the left and Joe Worrell as a central defender on the right. Sorry. And then, in the starting left-back, we are going to start Rui Ribeiro for sure. And then um, right back, I'm actually planning to push Valentin Rosaya as the first choice right back. Because I personally, I'm not a big fan of Carl Jackinson. So um, yeah, that's why we are going to put Valentin Rosaya ahead of Carl Jackinson. And then in the halfback position, we are obviously going to play Torre. And then box the box midfielder, I'm hoping John Lundstrom will step up in this season. And then um, yeah, we still have Ryan Yates. But then his technical ability is not as good as John Lundstrom. And then we also have Maddie Cash, who we are going to transform him into a box-to-box -box midfielder. But um, yeah, we will give him some playing time in this season, but I still prefer John Lundstrom as the first choice box-to-box -box midfielder. And then at the Mazala position, we still have Thiago Silva. And then obviously I love Joao Carvalho. So I'm just going to choose Joao Carvalho as the first choice Mazala. And then we actually switch the roles um, in our front three. Well, Joe Lowley will be playing as an inverted winger on support. Ricardo Kishnar will be playing as the winger on attack. And I actually switch the Costa's role from an advanced forward to a pressing forward. Because um, advanced forward will only stay up front. So I actually want my um, striker to come back and involve in the defense. Uh, in the defensive play as well as the attacking play. So I just switch him to a pressing forward so he would drop a bit deeper instead of like playing as an advanced forward um, to just stay up front, if you get what I mean. And then, um, yeah, Ricardo Kishna, I'm just going to try to transform him into a winger. And then we'll see how these um, tactics work in um, the first five games. So, um, yeah, in terms, in terms of the first five games, 
The first game we are going to play against Man United, tough game. Second game, Norwich City, I was hoping maybe we can get a draw here, would be good. And then Southampton, another, I would say, weaker position, opposition as well. And then we are facing Liverpool and then Fulham. So in the first five games, I was expecting a win against Fulham, two draws, one against um, Southampton, one against um, Norwich, and then two losses um, against Man United and Liverpool. And then look at our squad. I actually promoted quite a lot of um, youngster into the first team. So the first one is actually um, yeah Ethan Dekil Ducks. Um, he had a very 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 good preseason. Four appearances. Um, 10 appearances, should I say, 5 goals, 2 assists. He was exceptional. So I just sort of like promote him into the senior team and I'll take over his um, individual training. And then the um, second player is, um, well, Brennan Johnson, I already decided to promote him into the first team and he will get his chance this season. And then, um, yeah, the second player is at Alex Mighton. Um, on paper, looking at his technical, uh, mental and physicals, all the attributes, um, he's a very, very good backup for um, Ricardo Kishma, Kishna and Joe Lowley. Um, he can also play at the left wing and the right wing, so um, he will be a very good addition. And then um, another one is Tyler Walker. Um, he will be our backup striker. While his current ability and potential ability is not that good, but I think he'll get some chance um, in the cup game, I'd say. And then the last player is um, Finback. So um, Finback can play as a central midfielder, defend, defensive midfielder as well as a centre back. And look at his attribute, he's actually a very um, defensive player, I would say. Um, 13 tackling, 11 positioning, but he's, he has um, 12 passing, 14 aggression, 13 first touch. And then um, his acceleration and agility is not that bad, 13 and 12. So I'm actually going to transform him into a natural defensive midfielder with a half back role. I think he would be the backup for um, Abdullahi Torre in this season. So um, yeah, only 17 years of age. I'm just hoping that he could step up and be a good player for us in this season. Well, um, yeah, I think that's all from me today. And in the next episode, we will be playing our first Premier League game against Man United. It's going to be tough. I expected a loss, but we will still do our best in this game. Yeah, if you enjoy watching the content, make sure you hit the subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, and share it to your friends. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. It's abt underscore fm to join the discussion of football. And yes, that's all from me today, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.